Hello, it's Dr. Crystal Roberts, Doc Who Listens, coming to you with a topic that is not exactly related to most of what I've discussed this month, but um, the underpinnings are similar, just given the population that has been and continues to be most negatively impacted when critical things are being ignored. When government officials chronically underserve the people of their state, they deprive them of clean drinking water and disproportionately widen the gap between the all too painful, familiar, black and brown people suffer the most. When will this paradigm change? Jackson, Mississippi has been, been under a boil water notice since July, 2022. The main water plant had to be shut down almost two weeks ago now, leaving many, many residents without access to water. The water coming through some pipes is so grimy, you can't even boil it to use it. There is no clean drinking water coming out of the faucets in Jackson, Mississippi. Bottled water costs money, and many of the residents have to rely on donations, especially with the surging price of the limited available, available water that's even for purchase. When I visited around the 4th of July, I and my children were brushing our teeth with, with bottled water. This epidemic is the result of years of neglect, ignoring the problem, lack of resources, misuse of resources, and just not giving a damn in a city where 80 to 85% of the population is black. 80 to 85%. If a dirty glass of water is not okay for your family in Clinton, Mississippi, Madison, Mississippi, Pearl, Mississippi, all of these communities are less than eh, 15, 20 minutes away from Jackson, Mississippi, then why should it be okay for mine? This isn't new. Where's the fight for the resources and not just to keep your seats of comfort and be okay with unaccountability? When will we stop settling Mississippi, my home state, for being at or near the bottom for the negative realities that affect human beings' ability to live safe and healthy lives? But it's not just you. I ask the state of Texas, where I currently reside, are we really okay being noted at the bottom in the Texas Magazine excuse me, the Texas Medicine Magazine in an article published in August 2022 that read, Texas ranks last in prenatal maternal care access. It doesn't take a genius to figure out which population will most negatively be impacted by this as well. Though the underserved in our communities, most often brown and black people, have proven time and time again how resilient we are it doesn't mean that our daily living should be like a daily test of how much more we can endure. My heart and thoughts ultimately and genuinely go out to all of those affected. But I use my platform today to speak up as a black woman, a black woman from Jackson, Mississippi, living in Texas and painfully disappointed yet again, most for those who look like me, who I call mom, who I call brother, auntie, uncle, cousin, family, friend. Our people deserve more.